hello friends in this video we will see how you can run a can log in vector canoe so to run a can log you have to go to simulation and then go to simulation setup so once your simulation setup window is open just click on this network node and just right click on this and you will see options popping up like this you have to add a replay block to run the can log so just insert replay block can and once that block is placed here you have to right click on it and you have to configure so before that i will tell you one more way to add a replay block so here in the can network there is a replay block here so from here also if you right click on the replay block option you can insert a replay block so to run a particular can log you have to right click on the replay block and you have to configure it and here you have to name the replay block as whatever name you want to name it so i will change the name to replay and here i have to select the log file which i have to run so i'll just click on this three dots and i will go to the folder where my can log is saved so i have a sim sample can log which i have downloaded from the internet and it is in the form of ascii as the type is showing showing ascii logging file so there can be a different type of can log files but currently i'm having ascii logging file so i'll just open it and you have to keep all the settings as default as the output is standard start timing condition is immediately when the can starts with this thunderbolt or f9 key immediately it will start to play the log and you can also uh, map the channel where you have to uh, target the log and where is the source so currently your source is can1 and the target is also can1 so we'll keep all the settings as default and we have to send all the messages from the log that is tx and rx both the messages and once you say okay and you will see in our settings are reflected here that our file is shown here and the name of the blog is changed to replay so once you start the can using this thunderbolt or f9 key your can log will start to play in the online mode so the method which i have shown you here is a method to play the can log in online mode as this thunderbolt is showing of the online mode online mode means the device which whichever you are sending uh, the messages is currently connected to the can network that is called as online mode and in the next video i will show you how you can play the can log in offline mode so whenever device is not available and you don't have any can network with you at that time also you can run the logs and check the messages which were transferred which were logged in the file using the canoe uh, software so that we will see in the next video